Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Little Hampton today at the railway station. Nice to find a railway station that still has semaphore signals. That way is, of course, looking towards London. I came down on this Class 377. There's the buffers down there. It's a terminal station. Today is another episode of Miniature Railway Britain, and we're going to the Little Hampton Miniature Railway. And today is their 75th anniversary gala. So it's obviously a railway that's well, been there for 75 years. I have been once before, maybe about 10 years ago, so I'm looking forward to revisiting that line. It, when I last visited, they were running with a loco called Lady Barbara, who I last heard was at Statfold Barn, so I don't think that's here anymore, so the railway will be a bit different from my last visit. Last time I came here to Little Hampton Station, was also quite a few years ago. It was in maybe 2016. It was on a rail tour called the Bognor Bell. It was Royal Scott and a Class 47. So we went down to Bognor, had a couple of hours there, and then we came round to here. There's a free car, Class 377. And I remember, so the steam loco was at that end, so it worked steam into Bognor. Diesel took us round to Little Hampton, steam back up to London. I don't know if it's, the camera's going to pick it out just out down there. I've noticed the signal has gone into the up position for the train to depart back to London. I'm now going to make my way out the station. We're going to walk along down by the River Arran towards the seafront and then we head east along the coast and that's where we shall find the Little Hampton Miniature Railway. Well, here's the River Arran on its last quarter of a mile before it joins the sea just up there. I can already smell the sea breezes, which is really nice smell on a nice warm summer's day like this. I always enjoy this part of the walk from Little Hampton Railway Station down to the beach. I think it's a really pleasant way to walk past the harbour, seeing all the boats and everything. I always remember this bit from um, my kind of teenage years. There was an episode of The In Us where they went down to Swanage for a geography trip, but it was actually filmed here. And it was in here where they got stuck in the harbour when their boat wouldn't start and Jay set up a flare. That was here, even though in the episode it was implied that they were actually filming it in Swanage. The In Between Us episode was filmed here in Little Hampton. So we're going to continue on down there, down to the seafront, and then we've got to go to Musebrook Park. That's where this railway is, just up here. So we've just walked on a little way from the harbour. We're almost at the point now where the River Arran joins the sea. Over there are some other seaside amusements, but no miniature railway, so I'm not really so worried about having a look at them. I'd probably enjoyed it when I was a child though. Here is where the River Arran flows out into the sea. So we've now got a pleasant stroll along the beach to find this miniature railway. Something that always makes a seaside town that much nicer. Well, any town actually, but a seaside town the idea of having a miniature railway. It just seems to really complement it. So there's the beach out there, people swimming in the sea. I'm not going to go swimming today. It's about 22 degrees. It's quite a bit warmer in London, so it's cooled down. Perfect weather to go swimming. I'm not going swimming. I'm going to ride trains. And that is just along here, the Musebrook Park station. So after a pleasant stroll along the beach, I'm now almost at the Little Hampton Miniature Railway. And I can see something that seems a bit unusual. See over there, there's a steam loco. That steam loco is Mad Bess. Yes, Mad Bess from Rice at Lido Railway, down here on a holiday for the weekend at the seaside. This video actually makes a perfect sequel to my last Miniature Railway Britain video, where we went to the Rice at Lido Railway's Gala. And they had Christopher, visiting from this railway. So, after Christopher's trip up to Greater London, to, well, funny enough, a beach, actually. Greater London's got a beach that rides at Lido. Matt Bess has come down here. And I understand she's not the only visitor. There's gonna be another visiting steam locker, so we're gonna go and find that in a minute. Look at that, there's a sign there. It says, trains running today. So, let's get across the road, and we're gonna go and enjoy a ride on the Little Hampton Miniature Railway. Now I can see the steam loco. I'm really getting quite excited. So there she is, Mad Bess. Oh, so this is Norfolk Road. Newfoot Park must be the other end of the line. Has been, admittedly, a while since I was last here. So let's have a look. 
look at Mad Bess. So if you want to see my last trip behind her, have a look at me on screen now. You can see my visit to the Rice Glider Railway Scarlet. So there she is, Mad Bess. I wonder if she'll be pulling my train, or maybe there's another train due to arrive. Whichever train comes next, we'll have a ride up the line to the other end. So I've just got on the train. We're about to go for a ride behind Mad Bess. There's no turntable, so she's gonna to have to run tender first up the line to the other end of the line. This is gonna be an exciting trip. First time I've done this line with Steve.
to Musebrook Park. It feels really novel to ride behind my best because I've only ever seen a, a rice and rider railway. I think this is the first time she ever has visited another railway so it seems really quite strange to ride behind her here but it was very enjoyable. Now what I think is probably going to be our next work is just here, it's called Rosemary and she's from the Exbury Gardens Railway. I've not been there yet, it's somewhere I very much would like to go to both for the gardens and for its miniature railway. So that's a video that's going to happen some point in the future. I'm going to ride the train back. I'm hoping that Rosemary will be pulling it. I'm not too sure. And then I'm just going to go for a bit of a walk and do a bit of line siding. Rosemary's an Exmoor steam railway built local. And I kind of told the story when we were at Rice at Lido, but I'll briefly go through some of it again. Christopher, I've had before. When I rode behind Christopher at Rice at Lido, it wasn't a winning loco for me because i would had Christopher at the Exmoor Steam Railway in the mid-90s when Exmoor Steam Railway was open to the public. Now, the railway exists, but they closed about 2001 to public and they're purely a factory which builds steam engines. So if you want to buy a steam railway, they can build one for you. I think Rosemary was built in 2001. So, but Christopher used to be called Lorna Doom and it's been rebuilt. A locomotive takes its identity from the frames. So when I had, so if you want to see Christopher back in the mid-90s, uh, Rice at, oh, sorry, not Rice at Lido. Um, I saw Christopher Rice at Lido the other day. So if you want to see Christopher in the 1990s at Exmoor, have a look at link on screen now. Meanwhile, oh, yeah, look, Rosemary is going off the loop. 
and she's about to pull our train. So it's going to be a really exciting ride back down the other end of the line. And then we're going to do some line siding. So they've got three locos in steam. There's a few diesels about. I'm not sure if they're scheduled to work any passenger trains today. So we'll enjoy the ride back and then time for a bit of line siding.
I just had an enjoyable run along the coast behind Rosemary. So that's my winning local of today because of course I've had Christopher and I've had Mad Bess in the past for Holbridge and my supply day. So we've, we've just gone into the other platform. So I'm not a super track basher at Warwick, but every bit of track, but uh, it's technically a winning bit of track for me. So now I've been up and down the line and I've um, had the winning loco I won. I may have a ride behind Christopher later. Christopher is about to haul this train. I'm going to do some line siding, so we're just going to watch the little steam trains puffing along the coast from the line side. So it's going to be a rather pleasant afternoon for a lovely summer's day like today.
I've had a great afternoon here at Littlehampton Miniature Railway. Here's Mad Bess at Mewsbrook Park Station. This is Mewsbrook Park here. There's a leisure centre over there. I'm just going to quickly show you the lake. There's a lake with pedalos on. So this railway has that sense of being like a real railway and it does function taking you from somewhere to somewhere. It has two fully functioning railway stations. So you can use it as a genuine transport. So it's quite a long way because if you from the other end to here it's so if you were in Little Hampton and you fancied coming to this park, Mewsbrook Park, where you can hire pedlos, you don't need to walk, you can get the train and look you've got this huge lake to hire a pedlo out and go for a boating ride. Looks like fun, I'm not gonna do that today though, um because I've had too much fun with the trains. There's the station over there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Littlehampton Miniature Railway, Bryce Lider Railway and um, Exbury Gardens. I must go and visit that one for bringing their locos along. It's, it's what's been a really, really good gala. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment from Musebrook Park.